Hi guys, thank you for joining me with Art Sphere today. We are going to be making um, our very own paint um, in this video. So it's going to be um, a fluffier, puffy paint that we're going to be making um, out of flour and salt and some other things. So I hope you guys are ready to start this. Um, it should be super fun to do and then you can always make um, your own paint at home if you don't have your own or if you want um, a different kind of medium or a different kind of way to explore art. So what you're going to need for this is your flour. I have a huge container of it. Um, you're going to need some salt. You're going to need some food coloring um, for your paint colors. You're going to need um, some water. Um, I have a bowl to mix my paint. I'm only going to do one color, but you guys are welcome to do multiple colors. You should do multiple colors. Um, so just have a bowl for each one. And then a pair of scissors. A pencil to draw with your paper and then I have a measuring cup this is just a half cup um, that's all I think I'm gonna need for this so if you have um, a half cup or it doesn't have to be exact either if you don't have a measuring cup um, just try to do the same measurements of flour and salt together and then you are going to need either a plastic Ziploc bag or if you have um, a squirt bottle that would work as well but I don't have one at home so I'm just gonna be using this plastic bag and then lastly, um, just a spoon for mixing. So to begin, I'm going to just draw out uh, what I want to paint. Um, just something really simple because this is um, a newer form of art and I don't know how it's going to work exactly. Um, and it's a little bit puffier so it's not going to be precise. So you can just sketch out something really quickly that you want to draw or fill in. Um, I could just do like a flower really quick or sun. Maybe I'll do a sun. So I have my sun and some clouds. As you can see, it's um, not very detailed, it's not very um, professional. So I just sketched out my quick drawing and I'm just going to set this to the side. All right, and now we are going to start to make our paint. So you are going to start with your flour and your salt, and these are going to be equal parts, which means that if I use half a cup of flour, I'm going to use half a cup of salt. So we're going to start with that. And then I might want to do a little bit less of each. So I'm just going um, to make sure that I do the same amount of both. If I do less of each, that they both have to be less. All right. So there I have my flour and my salt. I can set this aside unless I'll need it later. I'm just going to make sure that's mixed together. Next, I am going to add my water. So I will need half the amount of water that I did for either salt or flour since salt and flour was the same. So if I did half a cup of um, salt and flour, then I would do a quarter cup of water. Or if I did a fourth cup of salt and flour, then I would do two tablespoons of water. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in. And then I'm just going to mix this and make sure that it's a good consistency. Um, you guys can mess around with this uh, to make your own consistency. If it's too um, much flour and salt, then you can always add more water. And then if you accidentally add too much water, just add a little more flour and salt. So this is a little bit dry. I'm going to add another spoon of water in this because we want to make sure that it's thick enough, um, that it's not running all over the place, but that is also um, thin enough to be painted on. So 
So let me add just a little more. Right. And then I'm just gonna make sure that's all mixed together. It kind of looks like some dough now. Uh, but this is going to be your paint. So this is a completely new kind of um, medium we're going to be using. So I just want to make sure that all the clumps are gone, that everything's mixed thoroughly, kind of as if you were going to bake something. You'd want it all mixed without any clumps. All right, so now I have a good consistency of this. You can see it. It's a little bit thick. Uh, but it's not um, too thick that it doesn't move. So it has a higher viscosity, but not too high. Okay, next we're going to add our food dye. So I am only doing one color. So I think I'm going to do um, blue since I have some clouds. So I'm just going to do uh, two or three drops because I don't want it too dark. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in as well. So now we have some blue dough. Again, making sure that all the clumps are out and that we get this all thoroughly mixed together. You guys can obviously also um, mix your colors together if you wanted to do like blue, red and make purple or um, blue and yellow and make green. Next, you're going to take your Ziploc bag and you are going to pour um, your paint dough into uh, the bag. Oh, my spoon fell. So I'm just going to scrape it out and try to get the most that I can. You might want some paper towels to clean up the mess. I'm making a mess right now. Um, I'm just going to scrape the edges because I don't want to waste any paint. And we're just going to make sure that's all in there and then set this to the side. All right, so now I have my paint in a bag. I'm going to try to squeeze the air out of this without squeezing paint out, and I'm going to close it. So I want to get as much air out of it as I can. All right. Because if I have air in it, um, the bag will pop when I start to squeeze it. So I'm going to now squeeze all of it um, to one corner. So just choose your corner. All right. And so this is going to be our paintbrush now, is we're going to do this like we're icing a cake and we're going to put it onto the paper. So before we do this, we are going to have to cut a hole in it. So just take your scissors and cut a small hole on the corner and it comes out right away. So just be careful um, not to cut too big of a hole because then it will all come out at once and you won't be able to go back. So it's better if you cut a smaller hole first and then um, if you need it bigger, you can make it bigger. So you're just going to go around again. It helps if your picture is not super detailed because this is not um, an activity where you're going to get a very detailed picture unless you're really good at this. So it's more just to um, have fun and try other methods of painting. So now I have my sun rays, my clouds. All right. So, okay, now I have my sun and my cloud and it doesn't look very accurate. Um, I can hold it up a little bit like this. So you can kind of see my sun and cloud and I am just gonna have to let it dry now. Um, so you just leave it out to dry, make sure it's in a safe, secure spot where no one's gonna touch it or get um, mess on it, um, make sure nothing can fall on it. So you're just gonna leave that to dry, maybe overnight or throughout the day for a couple hours. And then next time you check on it, either in the morning, um, the paint will actually stay puffed up and is raised off the sheet, which is really cool. Um, so hopefully uh, your guys' paint turns out like this and you'll be able to see the raised edges and that it'll stay for a while. So it should stay the same um, without too much difference after it dries. 
So I hope um, you guys are able to follow along and have some beautiful pictures. Um, thank you guys for joining me with Art Sphere again. If you do this project, we would love to see it. So please hashtag us at Love Art Sphere Inc. or email us at info at artsphere.org and we would love to share your pictures, um, see your paintings, and see how you guys are doing um, with quarantine and how you're keeping yourselves busy. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day.